Before you begin a war in the comment section, I would like to make it crystal that I'm a huge fan of the X-Men franchise and I'm not gonna trash talk about Deadpool 3. But trust me, I have valid reasons to believe that a lot of fans are going to get pissed after watching Deadpool 3. And there is a logical reason behind that. Let me just get straight to the point. This is how the time travel logic works in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. According to the MCU timeline, you can go back to the past but altering your past is not going to change your future. But you can take something from the past to use that in the present to achieve something. Or you can also go to the future and change your fate. And the Avengers Endgame is the perfect example of that. Instead of attempting to kill baby Thanos, the Avengers went back to the past in different time points to collect the Infinity Stones to undo the snap Thanos performed to wipe out half of the universe. Also, the 2014 version of Thanos can be seen coming to the future in 2023 to redo the snap for wiping out half of the universe again. But here comes the biggest problem. According to the X-Men timeline, you can go back to the past to alter the course of your actions to change your future. And you can also see the same thing happening in the 2014 Days of Future Past movie. Logan, with the help of Kitty Pride, went back from 2023 to 1973 and restrained Mystique from killing Dr. Trask, which eventually ended the sentinel threat. After that, he comes back to 2023 and begins to live a peaceful life. So just imagine how fucked the timeline of Deadpool 3 can turn out to be. I'm saying that because they have included the TVA which is directly connected to the MCU timeline. So if Deadpool goes back in the past to change an event to change his future, the time travel law portrayed in the Avengers Endgame will also get broken. And then, the purpose of the TVA is to make sure that nobody is altering the sacred timeline and creating an alternate timeline. Because alternate timelines always get destroyed in the end. And you can only create an alternate timeline if you go back in the past and take a different action in the hope of a different future. So just imagine, Deadpool went back in the past, took some actions and saved the life of the people he cared about the most. And then his future also became different due to his different actions in the past. By the same token, you you can also get to see Cable in Deadpool 2 coming from the future to kill Firefist so that he can stop this boy from killing his wife and daughter in the future. So to put that into perspective, two different cinematic universes have two different logic on the time travel. And now there's going to be a fusion of these two different cinematic universes in Deadpool 3. So can you imagine right now how confusing the time travel logic is going to be in Deadpool 3? And then the X-Men franchise had always been notorious for their inconsistency in the time and continuity. So wrapping up all of these issues, I have a fear that this movie can turn out to be somewhat confusing to a lot of audience. But there's nothing wrong in hoping for the best, right? It's still gonna be a good movie. Almost done. Almost done what? Getting my knife out of your buttocks. Perfect! Get your mind out of my pants!